Guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to another Riddle video. This channel is probably, I've said this, I say this every time I react to it, probably now my favourite channel on YouTube, or at least top three. Especially if we're reacting to like these sort of random videos that are just, some are like theoretical that won't happen, some are like actually like sort of more possible, some explain situations like this where I guess they're sort of going off people who have actually woken up during a surgery. What if you wake up during surgery as a video? Um, you probably told, you could tell by the title, but I mean, yeah, this is the the thought of this. I've never actually had surgery. I mean, I haven't. I've never ever had surgery. I've never broken a bone. I've never needed a surgery. Actually, I have on my tooth because I was too scared to get in. God, I'm gonna sound like a little bitch. I was too scared to get an injection in my gum and be awake whilst they were drilling my tooth or taking my tooth out. I literally, well, I was like, yeah, please just put me to sleep. <laughs> Not a good thing to do. But I did what I did. They took my tooth out and that was it really. But uh, yeah, I didn't wake up, which is good, obviously. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be going off experiences or if they're just going to sort of be basing it off, I don't know, just what they think would happen. But we're going to see. It's going to be a weird one because I just think the idea of this is one of the scariest things possible. But yeah, just jump into it. Hopefully going to enjoy. Shout out to my Instagram, my Twitter links in the description for those interested in following. Save for Patreon links or there for those interested in and Patreon. A lot of Patreon exclusive videos that I can't post to YouTube. To Catch a Predator is one. Um, videos that get posted early like me trying American sweets or Mexican sweets or whatever. Just things like that really. I'll post them to YouTube soon but they've been posted to my Patreon. Always go there first. But yeah, links are there but let's jump into this. Imagine suddenly awakening to hellish pain. Think of the unbearable horror when you try to scream, but but surely you get like you're like you're numb to it, even if you wake up, or is being put to sleep like what is making you numb? Oh, your wow. voice doesn't obey. It's then that you realize that your entire body is paralyzed. Is There's only one thought that comes to mind: to die as soon as possible and rid yourself of this nightmarish torment. This isn't a scene from a documentary about the atrocities of the Gestapo or the Mafia. Any of us could experience such a horrendous sensation during a routine medical operation. Every year, more than 21 million people across the world undergo routine surgery and receive general anesthesia. Usually during an operation, patients sleep throughout without feeling a thing. However, Me. also every year, about 30,000 patients suddenly regain consciousness on the operating table. 30,000? Medical... From 21 million? I, I'm not good at maths, so I don't really know how I'd work that out, but no, that's a, that seems like a lot. <laughs> it seems like a lot. Terminology. This is called anesthesia awareness. What the f So why does anesthesia suddenly stop working? And how does surgery done awake? Threaten the patient. First, we have to understand just how really anesthesia works. Normal anesthesia actually involves several different groups of drugs. None of them independently provides the necessary conditions for an operation. Generally, anesthesia consists of three components. The first is anesthetics, which immerse the patient into a kind of sleep and relieve him or her from storing memories. The second are the so-called relaxants, which relax the muscles. They paralyze the skeletal muscles, allowing the surgeon to work without- Oh my god, man. I've got hair on my Imagine waking up during like open heart surgery. Oh my- Wait, what? You get open- Like, is there ever any surgery- <laughs> This is gonna sound so stupid. Is there ever any surgeries where the heart gets taken out quickly? No, that's not. And you have like- Yeah, because you have a- you have like um, a mechanical heart that will be used whilst you're having your surgery done. Like, I don't know, say you got open heart surgery, your heart, I don't know, heart failure or whatever. For a brief time, isn't like your heart pumping through a machine? Imagine when you wake up and you Oh my days! That's nuts! Wait, am I thinking this right? Like, does your heart get taken out at all during any sort of surgery? I don't know what specific surgery it would be. That might be a really stupid question, but I feel like it does, and you have like it being pumped for a small amount of time by a machine. Out interference. Oh. Finally, a state of narcosis oh. is achieved using what analgesics and narcotic anesthetics. 
These drugs completely block the passage of painful nerve impulses. An anesthesiologist devises an individual unique cocktail for each patient. Oh, the doctor's mm, tasks are yet. to completely put the patient to sleep, relax their muscles, and to deliver an analgesic effect. At the same time, the mixture should not lead to malfunction of the cardiovascular, nervous, or other bodily systems. To calculate the optimal dose of anesthesia is really quite difficult. It's dependent on the particular characteristics of each patient's body, their lifestyle, the habits of the patient, and much more. The difficulties are compounded by the fact that the mechanism of action of anesthetics is not entirely understood. And in addition, each person's body reacts to the medicines in its own special way. So, quite obviously, mistakes in dosage are quite possible. If the mixture doesn't contain precisely the right amount of ingredients, or the patient's body produces an unexpected reaction, for the patient, the operation can turn into a genuine nightmare. When improper anesthesia is administered, events develop according to several different scenarios. In one scenario, after awakening, the patient can hear, see, and sometimes even move, but not feel any pain. In this case, while he has used the right amount of pain-blocking medication, the anesthetist has undershot on the amount of anesthetics and relaxants. However, doctors are likely to quickly notice an early awakening of the patient in such cases and add in the necessary components to the anesthesia. After this, a person usually doesn't have strong memories of the experience that could lead to mental disorders or depression. Another scenario is having woken up, the patient can feel neither pain nor his or her own body. So the dose of relaxants and painkillers for them is sufficient, but the amount of anesthetic is too low. It might even happen that the surgeon doesn't notice the awakening of the patient oh until the end of the operation. Oh but my. since there's no pain, the patient will not suffer serious psychological trauma. I didn't think about that. I mean, the physical side, but also what it would do to someone if they, like, they're having surgery done, but they can't move or anything, and they're feeling all of the pain. I mean, that can kill you, obviously, because the shock and, like, the, the pain that you're actually experiencing, right? But, like, imagine the doctor's not noticed and you've got, like, a three-hour surgery and you just awake the whole time feeling everything. Or she just listens to the doctor's conversations or looks at their faces. Sometimes after awakening, the patient can feel pain and can move. So in such a cocktail, there isn't enough of any of the components of the anesthesia. Wow. This condition, though, is quickly recognized by doctors and they instantly add more anesthesia. Worst of all, though, is if a patient wakes up, can feel pain, but because of the paralysis, the patient cannot report it. In this case, the dose of relaxants is sufficient, but the other components of the anesthesia are not. This can cause tremendous suffering to the patient. And after the operation, the patient will most likely have to struggle for an extended period with such things as general stress, mental disorders, insomnia, and nightmares. Sometimes, such patients' thoughts even turn to suicide. The torture of one such patient who became conscious during a heart transplant operation. So this is what I was literally saying. This is literally what I was asking about. Okay, we're gonna, oh, I don't wanna see that. The torture man. of one such patient who became conscious during a heart transplant operation is shown in all its gory detail in the American film, Anesthesia. Of course, there are plenty of other soul chilling stories that weren't made into a movie. Anesthesiologists from all of the hospitals in the UK and Ireland compiled a collection of testimonies from people who came to under the scalpel of a surgeon. In 2012, they put together a report regarding about 300 cases of the unsuccessful use of anesthesia. The researchers reported that many patients had nightmarish memories of unbearable pain and suffocation. In 1998, one Carol Vier woke up during an operation to remove her eye. The oh. unhappy woman tried to scream or give some kind of a signal to the doctors, but she couldn't move an inch. Oh. And horrifyingly, the operation lasted for five and a half hours. Every minute, every second of the operation became for Carol an unbearable torture. 
She repeatedly went mad for? with the pain, lost consciousness, and came to again. This was repeated over and over and over. Another patient, June Carson, after also waking up on the operating table, could not move or make a sound. But the woman clearly felt the surgeon's knife cut into her flesh. The pain was so unbearable that June begged again and again to die. And indeed, 15 minutes after the onset of her suffering, her heart stopped. Fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, the doctors caught on in time and restarted her failing heart. But the greatest fear for most people, they said, was inspired not by the potential pain, but the paralysis. One of the authors of the study, Zadip Pandit, believes that they felt the pain was at least understandable, but few knew how it feels to be paralyzed. Many thought that they had been buried alive. I mean, it's not, I've, it's not compared at all. I've had sleep paralysis a few times and I had it like a few months ago, actually. And it's weird because I was speaking about it a few days before and it was sort of like I spoke it into existence. So hopefully I'm not doing it again because it is not fun. But like, it's weird, like, your sleep, I mean, people know what it is, but like, you feel like you can move, but you can't, and you're screaming, but you can't, and like, in real time, you're just making small little noises, like, but in your dreams, you're like, ah, help me, fuck, get me out of this mess, but like, uh, and I've experienced that, and I don't know how long it lasts for, but that's terrible, so to experience, like, in this situation, oh man, I mean, hopefully I never have to go for surgery, but I'm sure there's always going to be a point where I, ha I will have to, and I mean... This video will be the back in the back of my mind. I mean, uh, I'm not going to be the most excited for it, but <sighs> got to do what you got to do, right? It's not surprising that most often patients cannot forgive the doctors for such glaring mistakes. One patient went into surgery to have their leg cut open, and the surgeon needed to drill into the bone. Mm. The patient was given anesthesia, but it didn't work properly. The man was fully conscious, lying there on the table with a tube down his throat unable to move and yet he contrived to make some kind of a sign to the doctors by wiggling his toes the nurse noticed the wiggling toes and alerted the surgeon wow but the doctor said that the toe movement was only unconscious reflexes oh, and idiot. began the operation anyway you absolute from the idiot. unbelievable pain and mental trauma the patient became deathly ill and soon stopped breathing However, the physicians immediately connected him to an artificial respirator, preventing him from expiring. After the operation, the victim filed a lawsuit and was compensated in the amount of wow. 15,000 pounds. Is that it? But nothing can That's be compared to what has been experienced by newborn babies. In Europe and the US, babies for many years underwent operations with very weak anesthesia or without any anesthesia at all. Well, I mean, During that time, there was an opinion that the nervous system in newborns was almost completely undeveloped. And as such, they did not feel anything. It's hard to imagine how much pain and fear all those poor little creatures experience. What would that do to a kid like growing up again? Like, you see all the things that it said about how it like, affects people mentally in years to come. I mean, without knowing, this could lead a kid to being feeling all kinds of ways in 15, 20 years time, man. ...experienced during operations on their you tiny little bodies. Only in the 1980s did the members of the American Society of Pediatrics and the American Society of Anesthesiologists change their approach. Only 40 years they ago. They finally declared that newborn babies, including preterm infants, could feel these surgical interventions. Wow, After that, amazing. doctors finally ended the diabolical practice of cutting into live, unanesthetized or weakly anesthetized babies. Having learned all the horrors of anesthesia awareness, one could, of course, refuse to have operations. But this shouldn't be done, especially when there are strong indications of the need for a surgical intervention. It should be remembered that the probability of awakening under the scalpel is a negligible 0.008 to 0.2% of- But that's still, I mean, at 0.2%, I'm not going to lie, man. That's kind of high. I didn't think it'd be that high. Ooh. I mean, yeah. All operations. And in approximately 80% of all such cases, even after having come to, the patients don't remember anything. 
Okay. In addition, anesthesia awareness is most often only for a very short time and occurs just before the surgery begins or immediately after its onset. In these modern times, there are new technologies that allow doctors to more accurately determine a patient's condition during surgery. For example, a method of monitoring the auditory system of patients has been developed and is considered very promising. Its essence is that the hair cells of the inner ear, the auditory nerve, and the brainstem, upon the awakening of the patient, begin to react to sound stimulus. And this is even if the patient is completely paralyzed. But it's also possible that soon such innovations will be of no use regardless. Physicians more and more often are managing to carry out complex operations without anesthesia, but without the patient feeling any pain or stress. Neurosurgeons from Germany have even been able to operate on parts of the brain of fully conscious patients. Innovation has made it possible to dispense with oh. general anesthesia. What? Says you people's brains whilst they're awake. Are you... Surgeons <laughs> from Germany have even been able to operate on parts of the brain of fully conscious patients. Innovation oh, has made it possible to dispense with general anesthesia and also local anesthesia on the skull and scalp of a patient. This helps doctors to destroy tumors in cases that had previously been inoperable and without damaging the important parts of the brain. During the operation, the doctor can simply ask the patient to speak, count, recognize faces and photos, or even to just lift a finger. Interestingly, often such oh actions are necessary to identify areas of the brain that shouldn't be touched during the operation. This, this new me, method man. has become indispensable <laughs> in the case of contraindications to general anesthesia. For example, with exacerbation of bronchial asthma, angina pectoris, and some neurological disorders. Honestly, the percentage of operations done without anesthesia is still quite small, but with the development of these new technologies, their number will undoubtedly grow. And someday people won't have to suffer the long waking up and recovery period after anesthesia or depression following anesthesia awareness. And then we'll have achieved our dream. And even with the most serious of operations, we'll go to a surgeon for only a short visit or a couple of hours and casually stroll home after. Well, this is a fun watch. I was all over the place. I was cringing all over the place. My entire body shivered when you talked about women that woke up during the eye. <laughs> oh, no, that is disgraceful. I could not imagine. Hey, you're awake. Can you hold, open your ribcage for a second? When you actually learn more on YouTube in school. I woke up once during surgery like I remember seeing the nurse and hearing her say, oh, he's up. And then the anis... Anesthesiologist, the anesthesiologist up the dose I was out. This is why it's important to use brain activity sensors during a surgery. Yeah, I guess that's something that's being used now, which is probably the best way to determine. Imagine waking up and seeing your own stomach. I mean, you can't move, can you? So, but just imagine the pain. Oh my god, imagine waking up and seeing the hospital empty with lights off because there was a disaster which led to everyone evacuating. Well, I don't, I don't know if that would have happened before, but maybe it has to like one really, really unlucky person. Reminds me of The Walking Dead, yeah, same. <laughs> the first episode. Um, but yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this one. I mean, a bit of a cringy one for me. I was, well, not cringy, I was cringing watching it. It was an interesting one though, and learning about this sort of stuff. It's just, yeah, it's just quite wild to see these sort of experiences that people have went through but yeah if you want more reactions from this channel more reactions like this just suggest them in the comments i'll be sure to do some in the future but yeah until next time like subscribe peace